Thank you. Great to have you back. Thank you. I was on vacation for a week, and uh, the weather was better where I was than here, but it's starting to shape up. Yeah, and Eric, a little rain this week. <laughs> a lot of rain this week, and some snow as well, as likely. It doesn't look like anything. Well, we had this date 22 years ago. You all remember the 1997 April Fool's Day blizzard. Over two feet of snow in Boston, and some spots up to 30 inches of snowfall. This was a major one, one of the biggest storms in Boston recorded history, as a matter of fact. Today, chilly, yes, but snow, no. We have had high pressure in control. Some of that coldest air in the country is right across New England tonight. Temperatures right now are in the 40s with some 30s across some of the highest elevations, but the wind has been the difference maker. Still some gusts over 20 miles per hour. We will see those winds subside as we head into the overnight. The flip side is that that allows temperatures to fall back. So we're looking at low to mid 20s in most of the area when we wake up tomorrow morning. It'll be a cold start. We're going to be looking at a calmer day, though. Less wind tomorrow, still a good amount of sunshine. High clouds will increase as we head through the afternoon, but tomorrow is a good day to be outdoors. Highs will be up around 50 degrees, much lighter winds, and the wind, again, is really a big factor for this point in the season. So we're looking at 50 in Boston, 52 in Bedford and Norwood. We'll up to 46 in Manchester High, around 52. And uh, tomorrow, take advantage of it. One of the better days this week. Then tomorrow night, our storm develops. This will be a potent nor'easter as it moves off to our south and east. Rain develops after midnight and then it will pour as we head into Wednesday morning. Heaviest rainfall from Boston south and east, but that rain will cool down the atmosphere and likely switch us over to wet snowfall as we head into Wednesday morning. And so as we look at the commute, this is where we have kind of the peak of the storm. This will have an impact, no question, on the start of our day on Wednesday. I don't expect a lot of accumulation, but enough to make it look wintry in spots, to lower some visibility, and to make us all grumble a little bit. As we're into April, we're starting the day, and yeah, the snowflakes are flying. The one spot that likely does not see any snow is toward the Cape and the islands. It's a fast-moving storm. This moves offshore at midday. We blast into the sun, and as a matter of fact, some towns may even hit 60 on Wednesday afternoon. So simultaneously, we could see some snow and our warmest of the week in the same day within 12 hours of each other. Rain amounts over an inch in southeastern Mass. Some towns could see over two inches of rain, so that'll be a soaker, especially toward the Cape. Highest risk of accumulating snow is toward central Mass, down to northeastern Connecticut and southern New Hampshire, up to a couple of slushy wet inches are possible here. Could see coatings as far east as, say, the Hingham area and down toward the south coast. So it's certainly going to be uh, not feeling like spring out there to start the day. Some gusts over 50 are possible out of the northeast. Cape Cod and the islands during the morning, mostly gusting around 35, 40 miles per hour for the rest of eastern Massachusetts. So the travel impacts will be highest right around that morning drive on Wednesday. And then as we look into the afternoon, how about highs 55 to 60? There will be a rapid melt that will be expected as this moves on through. There may be some delays at low Logan Airport as we look out toward Wednesday morning. Again, it's a fast mover, but it's the first half of the day that we'll see the impact. Chilly on Thursday, but bright. Friday looks chilly as well, and uh, Friday night some rain may even feature some wet snowflakes mixing in across the higher terrain. David and Lisa, back to you. All right. Thanks, Eric.